we introduced the novel problem of understanding visual persuasion. Persuasion is core function of the communication. Its goal is to influence the other people's beliefs and decision makings. In particular, the modern mass media make extensive use of images, which could affect the public opinion on the real world news events and people. A persuasive image has implicit arguments, which are hard to convey by the verbal language. To quantify intents, we identify 15 dimensions of emotions, personality traits, and values. We introduce a novel data set of more than 1,000 images of US politicians, labeled with 9 intent dimensions, as well as 15 synthetic attributes. We propose a hierarchical approach as shown, where the high-level intents are inferred from a set of synthetic attributes, which has been validated by quantitative evaluation. Finally, we apply our method to a case study where we investigate the relation between public opinion on the president of the U.S. and his appearance in the mass media. Details can be found in the paper. Thank you. Imagine you ask Baxter for a bowl of soup. Today, computer vision allows robots to recognize objects from a known category and could provide a bounding box around the ladle. However, Baxter needs to not just detect the tool and know its name. Baxter needs to know which part of the ladle he can grasp and which part can hold the soup. In this extended abstract, we give an overview of our work on localizing and identifying object part affordance. We present a framework which provides 3D predictions of functional parts so that robots can use tools from known and even novel categories. We investigate the importance of different features and show that geometry is key to predicting affordance. Finally, we introduce a new RGBD part affordance dataset with 105 kitchen, workshop, and garden tools that will be available online soon. Cluttered environments can dramatically increase false positives in object identification, so constraining the search is extremely important. Candidate locations are first selected using cues such as color and shape. 
These are then passed to Libra for identification, with contextual priming biasing the final identification based on high-level expectations. There are many information sources for describing human pose. Appearance mixture type. For example, head leaning forward or backward. Appearance measured by matching score. Deformation among body parts. We propose a multi-source deep model that uses multiple information sources to capture the global, complex relationship among body parts. Our deep model outperforms state-of-the-art by up to 8.6% on three public benchmark data sets. We estimate 3D structure of irregular objects from a single 2D image. We learn the knowledge from unlabeled RGBD images, but apply the knowledge to ordinary RGB images. We need to mine the knowledge to identify structure deformation, object rotations, and texture variations just from a single 2D appearance of an object. We also mine the knowledge for object detection from ubiquitous images. We estimate 3D structure of irregular objects from a single 2D image. We learn the knowledge from unlabeled RGBD images, but apply the knowledge to ordinary RGB images. We need to mine the knowledge to identify structure deformation, object rotations, and Visual realism is the degree to which an image appears to be a real photo rather than computer generated. Predicting the visual realism of images is a challenging yet important computer vision task. If visual realism scores can range from zero for the images that appear the most clearly computer generated to one for the images that appear most clearly to be real photos, what visual realism ratings would you give these images? Here are the ratings from our participants. Are they consistent with your perception? In our work, we explored and modeled how the cognitive factors of naturalness, familiarity, semantics, and aesthetics determine the visual realism of images. Based on experimental data and theory, we designed an automatic realism estimator modeled after human perception. In this work, we take a step in the direction of building self-evaluating vision systems that feel gracefully. Computer vision systems today are not perfect, for example, in scene classification, 
We might get similarly absurd results without warnings, but with high classification confidence. Usually, vision systems work in a pipeline fashion, in which the output from one step is fed as input to the next. Thus, errors will propagate downstream. We introduce a warning system, called alert. It analyzes input instance and predicts if a viewing system is likely to produce a non-reliable response. Alert is trained to predict the accuracy of a viewing system on a given image, simply from generic image features. We apply alert to four different applications and show an improvement in a downstream application of zero-shot learning. For more information, please refer to our paper or our poster. We present Time Machine, a classifier that can adapt to an evolving stream of data. We begin by learning to classify here into scenes of traffic and no traffic using a stream of manually annotated data. We then refine and adapt the classifier as the data continues to change without using any further annotations. We call our method Time Machine because it can transfer a model to any other point in time. Conventional adaptation methods need to see a lot of data in order to start adapting. In contrast, our method can start adapting immediately and can continue to adapt as it receives every new piece of data.